The FBI's dangerous raid on President Trump. A former president who happens to be the most likely challenger to the current president in 2024 has just had his home raided by the FBI. This has never happened before in our nation's history. Now surely the FBI, which is ultimately controlled by President Biden, must have a compelling reason to do this, right? Well, we don't know the answer to that, because the warrant authorizing the raid on Trump's residence is still under seal. It's unconscionable that the American people are being kept in the dark about this. What we know so far, according to media reports, is that the raid on Trump's home is likely related to a potential mishandling of documents. But that doesn't make much sense because there's an easy way for the government to get the documents it wants from Trump. They just have to negotiate with his attorneys, or they can acquire them through the subpoena process. Now, no normal functioning president would ever authorize the FBI to commit such a severe action just to recover documents unless there was a more sinister motive at play, like using the intelligence agencies as a weapon to prevent a future presidential run by Trump. And if that's the case, then America has just entered a very dangerous place that there's no coming back from. Using intelligence agencies to go after your political opponents is something that happens in authoritarian nations and corrupt third world regimes, not the United States of America. And look, normally you want to give the current presidential administration the benefit of the doubt, but it's hard to because Biden and his administration have lied about virtually everything from the state of the economy to inflation, the effectiveness of vaccines, gas prices, the crisis on the southern border, and a million other things. And it's also hard to give the benefit of the doubt to the FBI, who went along with the Russia collusion hoax and used information which agents knew to be false to illegally spy on Trump administration officials. This is the same FBI who just a few months ago was found to be using counterterrorism tactics to surveil parents speaking out at school board meetings. It's the same FBI who didn't prosecute Hillary Clinton despite the fact she committed at least 110 crimes under the Espionage Act. And this is the same FBI that has not filed charges against Hunter Biden despite possessing his laptop which contains direct evidence of dozens upon dozens of crimes committed by the president's son. And even more alarming, this is the same FBI that has recently been accused by whistleblowers of burying the evidence of Hunter Biden's crimes and falsely labeling it as Russian disinformation. I hope for the sake of this country that this extraordinary action to use the FBI to go after President Trump has a solid basis. But everything we have seen so far suggest something more nefarious may be going on. Like this video, follow me, Ashton Cohen, on YouTube, check out my podcast, Electile Dysfunction, and go to genbiz.com for more great content.